as many of you have rightfully commented, my old video on collecting meta alloy is a bit outdated. So let's fix that and let's do an updated video. Today's video is sponsored by Secret Lab. We all strive for the best possible gaming experience, but the importance of a good quality chair is often underestimated. Secret Lab produces some of the most comfortable and high quality gaming chairs you can get. So upgrade your commander chair today and fly in style and comfort. Follow the link in the video description to their store, type in your height, your weight, and it will tell you which chairs fit you for the best possible seating experience. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. So, Meta alloys. We're gonna do an updated guide on how to collect them. So it's gonna hopefully be a nice short video. Now in my last video, I recommended that you either head to Daniel's Progress in Maya just to buy the meta alloys off the market or go to one of the barnacle sites. However, with the barnacle sites now, it's a bit hit and miss and it can sometimes be difficult to find a site that actually has meta alloys. Daniel's Progress, well, only sells them periodically. So for a more reliable method, what we're gonna be looking at today is what's called the Barnacle Forest. The Barnacle Forest is located here in the Hydra sector. Whoops, IAQ-Y D81. It'll be in the description. You can pick the system name up from there, of course. This system is located, as you can see down here, we have the Pleiades sector. You can see the nebula there. We have Robigo out here. This is Dav's Hope located here, and we have the bubble. It's around 300 light, 350 ish light years outside the bubble. So, do bring a ship with a decent jump range. Once in system, we're going to be heading to planet C2. So, we go A, B, C, 1, 2. That one right there. As you can see, 131,000 light seconds. So, it's a bit of a flight. Once we arrive at the planet, we're going to bring out our surface scanner and we're going to give this a quick scan. Once you map the planet, you will see multiple of these Thargoid barnacles showing up. You're going to be heading to the one called Thargoid Barnacle 3. I will also be posting in the description the coordinates on the planets if you are in doubt which one it is. And there we have it. So now we just need to put the ship on the ground. Once you land in the Nauden SRV, you can drive into the forest itself. And you can see here there will be these scavengers flying around. Don't worry about them. If you don't bother them, they won't bother you. So just stay clear of them. Don't try to hurt them or anything. Next, you just need to locate your meta alloys. And I found the easiest way to do this is just to get out into your... Uh, uh, there we go. Get out into third-person camera. Um, move it up a little bit and begin zooming in. And just begin to scan the different peaks here. You will be looking for these meta alloys to be located on some of these peaks around... Oh, I think I spotted one there, uh, close to the main structure in the middle. I hope you can see it here. I'm zooming a little bit. But we're going to try to go over there and basically look for like green glowy things on top of these uh, spikes protruding out of the ground. That's what you're looking for, these large flower kind of structures. Keep in mind that I will also have smaller ones on some of them. Those are not what you're looking for. Uh, you can see them there. That's not what you're looking for. It needs to be the big ones, um, as you can see right here. Get into your turret and just shoot the spike. It doesn't really matter where, just get into combat mode. There we go. Just shoot the spike anywhere and the spike will quickly be uh, be destroyed. And you will have one meta alloy that you can now just open your cargo hold, drive over. And there you go. You now have yourself a meta alloy. Now you can keep doing this if you just need to unlock it, you just need one, that's fine. But you can keep driving around, there should be plenty of these around. I can already, already spot another one over here. But that's gonna be it for today. Thanks a lot for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys in space.